Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are going over how you can go ahead and get installed and open up the new uh, CFX development kit beta, which will allow for live code editing, server management, exporting, and everything else uh, for 5M resources. I won't be going over how to code anything in this video. I'm just gonna be going over how to get the new version of this because it just came out a few days ago and how to get it um, started in your system. So let's go over a few things about what this can do. So one of their main features is real-time coding. Uh, they give a lot of cool um, examples of this on the thread and I'll leave a thread link down in the description uh, so you can see it's changing the colors of the boxes and stuff all live in game while you're coding. So this is way better than having to reload resources or re-export resources and stuff. I really like how this is. To be clear, this is for a development side of it, not server owner side of it. So if you are a developer, this is probably something that's going to come in handy for you quite a lot. Uh, there is multiple project managers and stuff, so it's kind of a fully fledged uh, coding environment. Um, resource importers and stuff. So if you have a previous uh, resource, you can even import from a Git repository if you want to fork and edit one for yourself. I really like this one because it just, it kind of fits in well with the open source community on 5M and I think it will go really, really well in the future, uh, especially with people wanting to make small changes to scripts. You'll be able to do that quite easily. Uh, server management. So you can see you can uh, select build directories and stuff. IntelliJ has this as well, but um, you can set up your like st uh, Steam API keys and everything so if you want to test something that you're doing with um, Tebex or Steam you can do those as well and then resource management so you can restart resources and stuff all uh, while playing inside of a test game view inside of 5M so I really love how that is set up I think it's going to be uh, really, really useful for a lot of things in, in terms of the future of this uh, they're thinking to release a world editor asset manager visual programming and more documentation so documentation is really not out yet for this yet um, so so I'm going to hopefully create some videos on this once I learn uh, kind of how to use it myself. Um, but there's probably going to be documentation in the future. I really think um, the world editor is going to be cool. So building maps and stuff will be just a super easy way of doing it. So I cannot wait to see that. It even lets you create new path nodes for NPCs as one of their plans. That's going to be amazing. Um, in terms of visual programming, while I wouldn't use that, a lot of starting coding people would. Um, so I really think that's a cool feature for them to be rolling out in the future as well. Um, and they say, hey, there's a new section where you can go ahead and get this. You can go to the uh, FXDK section and you can provide feedback and discuss, which is amazing. So let's talk about how you get this installed. So if you go wherever your 5MEXE file, what you want to do is you just want to double click it and it's going to go ahead and run updates it's going to run um, all that and you can see the second i ran that it actually created um, the 5m development kit right here in my application folder so you'll just go ahead and let it run update and it's going to create this because it's bundled with 5m so it's not even a separate install anymore it is literally bundled with 5m so we're just going to let 5m load and load in once and then we're just going to go ahead and exit out of it and then we can actually manually enter into that development kit and we can just double click it just like you normally would with 5m and what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and download a few more updates because it's your first time running it. It will go ahead and ask you to allow access. I'm just going to do that. Um, I'm going to allow whatever access it needs and you just bring it over on your screen here. Uh, you can see it is preparing and unwrapping everything. So unpacking files. So you can see we are uh, installing everything and it is a pre-release. So just keep that in mind. This is a beta. So there may be bugs. Not everything will work and everything like that. Um, but you can see they have a lot of um, change logs. So while you unpack and update things here this is what you'll be probably seeing it shouldn't take that long to install it kind of depends on um, probably the servers and everything else that they're using to uh, send this all to you on your computer so I really really enjoy their idea behind this and I hope you um, will enjoy it too especially once we start doing more coding on it I think that will be quite cool um, so I'm just going to go ahead and let this continue for a moment and just say if you are new here please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and joining the channel if you want to support us further. It really does help us out. Um, our goal is about 10,000 by the end of the year uh, subscribers so if we can hit that that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, we're halfway there pretty much so uh, the support we've gotten though is so so amazing. Alright so you can see it is finalized and what we have to do is we're just going to go ahead and press continue and it's just going to say welcome to FXDX. You can either create a project or open a new project. Project. If you create a project, it's just going to ask you for the name and your location and should you have a server automatically and all that good stuff. I'm not going to do that in this video. This is just on the installation and opening it up and a little bit of an explaining of what it does. We'll be starting in a future video on actually coding. I'm going to do some uh, projects myself and get myself used to it before I show you all on YouTube. So hopefully this did help um, you and if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in two days for the next video. Have a great night, everyone.